What's up guys, thanks so much for joining me again. My name is Justin Graziano and I'm a product photographer. On this channel I do a lot of tutorials and behind the scene breakdowns. In my last video I asked you guys if you were interested in seeing an editing and breakdown and I had a great response to that, so here we are. So one of my favorite tools that I've learned in Photoshop as I began my journey in product photography was masking. It allowed me to take multiple images and combine them in Photoshop to create one super dynamic image and this drastically changed my workflow and allowed me to create images that I never thought were possible. For this You'll Shoot Your Out Kid photo, I wanted to make sure to utilize the glasses for the most part and then this bar of soap, but that didn't seem to fill my frame like the props and the Keep the Haze photo did, so I wanted to play with the glasses as much as I could. So in A Christmas Story, one of the most repeated lines is, and this is a reference to him wanting a Red Ryder BB gun, which if you haven't seen the movie yet, spoiler alert, he gets the BB gun and almost shoots his eye out. Oh my god, I shot my eye out! So I want to over-dramatize this in the photo by showing the cracked lens with some of the pieces falling out. So in Photoshop I had to add the glasses, the lenses, and then the broken shards of glass falling out of them. But how do I do that? Let's dig into this file and see. So just like all my edits, we're going to start by doing a quick color grade to all the photos that I'm going to be using for this edit. And in total, we're probably going to be using about five images, one for the glasses, the beer, the beer pouring, and then I also wanted to make this can float with the beer pouring out of it, so we'll have a few more images to make that happen. And we don't necessarily need to use every single one of these images, but I like to have them in my files just in case we do. From here, to import these photos into Photoshop so that we can start compositing, we just need to highlight the photos that we're going to be using, right click, go to edit in, and open as layers in Photoshop. Now that we've imported our photos into Photoshop, we can really start to break down this edit. Let's go ahead and start with cutting out our background because we're going to be replacing that with a new and more festive looking one. So you guys will probably quickly start to realize that using the pen tool is one of my favorite things to do in Photoshop. So using the pen tool, we're going to go around cutting out our background so we can drop in a new one. So now that we've got our background trace using the pen tool, we can right click, select make selection which will help us add a layer mask by going down to the bottom of the layers panel and clicking on the add vector mask button. Now you should see a transparent grid behind my image which will help us add in that more festive background more easily. And if you guys are wondering where you can find images like these to use in your photos, there are a ton of resources out there for stock photos that you can use. Just make sure you have the proper rights to use a photo before you use them. For this photo, I used Shutterstock which gave me a high resolution image and the rights to use the photo. This video isn't sponsored by them, but I do highly recommend them if you're looking for stock photos. I'll also leave a couple links down below to some other stock photography resources that I use. So this is looking pretty good, but to make this feel a little bit more cohesive, I like to add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer just to help blend that background image into my photo. From here, we're going to go ahead and group my layers by selecting them and holding down the shift key. And then to group them, all you need to do is hit the command or control plus G. And from there, we're going to put this at the bottom of my layers panel so it acts as a base for my edit. So now let's go ahead and start by adding in the glasses because that will end up being a bulk of my edit. So after going through multiple variations of the photos that I took of the glasses, I decided to go with this angle. I just really loved how much it popped with all the nice reflecting highlights. So now I need to add a mask to the glasses and all the falling pieces of the glass. So just like I did before, we're going to use the pen tool to cut out the glasses and then we're going to add a layer mask and then we're going to adjust my composition a little bit more just to even things out. So now this is where we're going to be getting into the meat of this edit, which is adding in the cracked lens and all those falling pieces of glass. I ended up finding this perfect image of broken glass to use, so we just need to take this image and drop it into the lens. I'm just going to start by changing my blend mode to screen and then I'm going to adjust my perspective using the transform tool. I'm just going to hold down the command or control key and drag the corners of my image until I match the right perspective. Then from there, I'm going to add a layer mask to this layer, and then I'm going to invert it by hitting Command or Control I. Then I'll just go in with a small white brush and paint back in all the cracked glass that I want. After I did this, I noticed one thing which was throwing me off a bit, which was it didn't look like the glasses actually had lenses in them because I removed the actual lenses for this photo. Normally when you photograph lenses, you get some reflections in them, and without that, it really made this image fall flat. So to spice things up a bit more, I created a white layer and then added a layer mask so I could paint in the lenses of these glasses, and then I just dropped the opacity a bit. Then to fine tune things, I went into the crack side to raise some pieces just to show where the falling pieces came from. This really helped add some extra layers to this image and made these glasses look so much more realistic. 
And I almost prefer to edit this way because if you ever shot glasses or reflective surfaces in general, it can be pretty difficult to control the highlights. So from here, I just need to add in all those falling pieces of glass. So I'm gonna start by pulling all the pieces from this stock image and just use what I need by quickly grabbing them with the lasso tool and cutting them out. And if you're wondering how to knock out that black background from these images, all you have to do is flip that blend layer to screen, which basically makes the dark parts of the image transparent and keeps all the lighter parts visible. So now that we've got our glasses in place with all the falling pieces, we just need to wrap this one up by adding our floating can by combining these last few images. And same thing as how I've been tackling the rest of my edit, I'm going to use the pen tool to help build my mask for this part of the edit, alongside using the brush tool to help blend things in a bit right here on the lid of the can. So basically to simplify this edit a bit more, I took the foam from this photo, combined it with this pour, then cut out the can from this photo, just making sure not to get my hand in there. And one last touch that I wanted to add, which was that classic leg lamp that you see in the movie. And since I don't own one, what I decided to do was look one up online and I pulled the best image I could to composite into the background, which I added a pretty heavy blur to and I think it worked out pretty well. Overall, with this photo and the photo from my last video, I kind of actually prefer this one because I just loved how the glasses turned out. It was kind of one of those ideas I thought about, but I wasn't really sure if I could pull off, but I think it ended up turning out pretty cool. So I hope you guys are able to pull something beneficial from this video. I like to use these editing breakdowns to show more of my process. There are a ton of different ways that you can use programs to make edits like these. So let me know if you guys would have done anything differently or if you have any tricks for me. I always love to hear from you guys in the comments below. So feel free to leave me a comment, like this video and subscribe. I hope you guys had a great new year and are ready for some more videos in 2022. I'll see you guys in the next one.